Hello. God, it's been a few days since I've recorded. <laughs> um, and I'm very tired. I accidentally fell asleep. Um, this match only happened a few hours ago, and I was going to do a live reaction to it. Um, like as soon as the well, as soon as the match finished, because I like doing them post, like so I can pause and do whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, I accidentally fell asleep. Apparently, that's just what ha being tired does to you. Regardless, um, we now have uh, our second UBL uh, highlight match for week four. Um, a lot of people were really busy this week, um, which is fair enough, no problem. Things happen. And things are more important than Pokemon. Um, which, uh, that actually becomes a bit relevant in a second. Um, our two players for this week, as you can see on the bottom, we have Matty. Um, you remember it was our week two opponent with the Vettel, and then kind of a very heavy trick room mode uh, with uh, Stack Attack of Torkoal. Um, and Mega Kangaroo as well. Um, if you do remember back to week one, we actually only had one featured match on the channel, and that's because um, one of them was covered by Kana, so I didn't want to do it. One of them. Do we even have any featured matches? No, we shouldn't have any. No. Yeah, so we had one. We had no featured matches for week one. And that was because one of them was actually done in game, so I couldn't watch it. One of them was myself. One of them was done by Canon, um, who uh, had a YouTube channel, but um, things happen with that. If I do learn any more, I will let people know, aka where to direct them in the future. And. Uh, the other one didn't actually happen because the person that Matty took over wasn't actually around week one and ended up getting booted. Um, and their opponent, if you notice, is QSN. Now, QSN has taken over Erebus for us. Uh, Erebus had to step down due to some personal stuff. Um, just felt they didn't have the time to do this, and that's fair enough. Um, obviously, it kind of sucks for QSN. Uh, that they're coming in here with a, a, a nice Owen. I think it's Owen three. I don't believe they've won one yet. Um. So that, and they're obviously not familiar with the team either. So. Um, hopefully, they can do what they can here. Kind of show us what they want to with this team. And yeah, I mean it's a good team. Like you can't you, you can't moan at Togekiss and VGC and the. The, uh, the, the restrictions only aren't bad either. Zekrom's a very scary Pokemon in the right situations. As well as Mega Mewtwo. Mega Mewtwo Exorcist. So two very strong physical Megas. Not great going against Stack Attack at Torkoal, mind you. Um, But I mean, there's also a Togekiss, but... Eh. The matchup definitely doesn't look great. Just because, like, the Trick Room mode... Yeah, it looks really strong. Whether Matty goes for it, I'm not sure, but we'll certainly see. Um, Mega Kanga's always strong. Like, yeah. Um, so Valley, who knows what type it'll be, it can do a lot of different things. Um, we have got Swampert and Magmortar. Um, Swampert can definitely take it. It's an actually, actually probably might be the best answer they have for this Trick Room mode. So, we'll see what happens. And then Magmorta, uh, who knows. So, we don't know what QSM wants to do. We want to see how they play, and we'll see what happens. So, let's kick things off, shall we? So, we see Stack Attack Torkoal immediately setting up with a Trick Room. Um, completely understand this. I'm personally more of a fan of giving the Trick Room support, but uh, yeah. We also see Manny just lead this in, instead of set, instead of set up stealth rocks, um, so maybe they do that as well. Who knows? But you have a Torkoal that wants to eruption, and a follow me Togekiss isn't going to stop that. So we see the Mega Revolution, low kick straight to Stack Attacker, and it's gone. See Tailwind come up, and an eruption come down, and it doesn't take anything out. But now you've got a Mega Kangaroo in play, fake out, take out the Mega Mewtwo. Torkoal flinches, I think it's unfortunate. 
We do see a Swampert come out. Trying to take down this Kang. More flinches. The eruption does take out the Toge Kiss, which will stop these flinches. Zekrom's going to come out. Is he a Toxic? Ooh. And some more Scalds, mate. Going for that burn. Gets the burn on the third one. And that does nothing. Jeez. That's a bulky, that's a bulky Zekrom for sure. Like... Kang's attack is nothing to scoff at, but jeez. Like, I don't care if you're building a Kang. An Ice Punch from Kang, I would still expect to do more. Um, Weirdly enough, Return is actually stronger. <laughs> I think. Actually, no way. No, no, never mind. Never mind. I'm done. Uh, nothing Return's stronger, right? Yeah, because 75 by 2 is 150. 102 times 1.5 is 153. So, yeah. Maybe you don't have it. Maybe you have Potty Slam. Who knows? We're talking about getting the Solar Beam off. Yeah, that's huge. Um, feel like Q it was kind of weird. So like Qsn saw, I think, like the Pokemon that were recognizable from VGC, at least in the previous generation. Stack Attacker and Mega Kang are absolutely terrifying Pokemon in these generations. Um, we kind of forgot about Gen 8's own new threat in Torkoal. Torkoal kind of just, <laughs> it kind of went to town on this team. Sure, maybe can get help pick up the knockout and make it Mewtwo, but it really spread the damage and didn't even need Trick Room to do so. Um, I don't know if this, this Torkoal might be Specs. It does have to return. We do see the Z move here. Um, that's a really defensive Jeez. That's got to be so defensive. Uh, and you Vettel in the back. This is going to be close, actually. This is going to be real close. Do you see the Bolt Strike? Kill the Vettel. Is Eruption going to be enough? I presume it's Specs Eruption. It's not. Oh my god. The Bolt Strike miss. The Heat Wave miss. Oh my god. Jeez. So that... That was kind of nutty. Uh, I'm not going to lie. That was probably a roll. It wasn't Specs. Though he certainly made it look like it was. Just really didn't want to miss Heat Wave. And then when he actually went for the Heat Wave. When it actually could have been an eruption. The eruption may not even... Eh, I, eruption had to deal with it. It's one pixel. It probably would have done it. They both went for moves that they really didn't need to, <laughs> and they both died. Uh, but the Toxic really kind of saved QSN there. So it was kind of an interesting, bulky, like a really defensive Zekrom. It actually put in a lot of work there. Um, it's kind of interesting. So, we're going to see game two here. Let's see what, see what can happen here. I'm just curious. Again, I'm kind of curious on this playstyle. We do see the same leads. Um... I wonder if there's going to be some different plays here. Because QSN now kind of saw that this Torkoal kind of ran through him. But at the same time, you can't let Stack Attack get Trick Room. So, maybe instead of trying to set up Tailwind, because you're faster than most things anyway. Maybe you're not. Maybe you want. Maybe you still want Tailwind. Um, But even still, I would consider targeting down this Torkoal, because it kind of did a lot of damage and if you kind of looked at the Mega Kangaskhan's damage sure it was burned but it wasn't really doing that much it felt like see the Mega yeah straight for the low kick you couldn't let that thing go off same play um very same turn one see the Mega Kanga come out this time we see a switch to Mag Mortar and this is the fake out comes out to Mag Mortar that still does like almost 50% that's crazy and the flinch comes out on the Torkoal. Do you focus blast miss? Dude, this game's so hacksy. <laughs> uh, oh, and another flinch. We see the bulky Zekrom coming back. This bulky Zekrom was kind of crazy, actually. Torkoal goes down. We see a T punch come out to Togekiss. Okay. But now it's the two the big boys. And there's no Yvettel this time. It's Serena. That's that's defensive Zekrom every day of the week. As someone who's been using Serena in the in GSC, 
That's a bulky Zekrom. So, yeah. And it's interesting that uh, Kyosin opted to have a, a mix set and actually carry the Ice Beam just in case. Um, that's actually crazy. I want to see that, like... I want to kind of, like, calc that, like... What? Let me see if we can get a damage calc up. Because I'm really curious about that one. Uh, I've got the 3GC calc here. Which, I mean, it's bad when I, I put in dam, like D-A-M, in my search bar, and it gives me both the singles and doubles damage calc. Uh, alright, let's take a Serena. Um, give it play rough. There's animate max attack against the Zekrom. So, like, a default Zekrom, which was kind of max max. Yeah, so, like, fifth, you can see here, it should say... Can you see here? I that, I only really have yeah. Let's get it. That just looks cool. that looks fine. Should do fifty two percent minimum. We kind of saw there. It did thirty five to thirty seven percent. So maybe make it max HP. Not even that. Defense. Max defense. Not even just max defense. We're looking at. We're looking at like max defense impish. A mid roll on max defense impish. That's nutty. That's a that's a crazy interesting set. It was it was it was max. It was Dragon Z. Zero offense. Uh. Zero offense. Uh. Zekrom. That's really interesting. And it, it won him the first game, like, barely. Um, if he'd gone for whatever dragon move he had, that presumably didn't miss, and then he would have just won the game anyway. And Matty... They both went for moves that missed. They both missed, so the outcome of the game was realistically decided. Um, whereas the second one... Um... I some smarter switching from QSN. Um, some smarter switching and really... This Zekrom, dude. <laughs> like, obviously, you think of Zekrom as a really offensive Pokemon, but not this week. Um, really, I felt if Maddy actually... If he if he led Mega Kanga stack attacker, like, that would have been so much scarier. Because... You get to fake out the Mega Mewtwo and then Trick Room, and suddenly, sure, you have a Mega Kanga in, but you just steadfasted the Mewtwo, and you've got a you've got Stack Attacker and Trick Room. So, like Trick Room would have, if Tri Trick Room went up, uh, the game was over. Um, but because Maddie couldn't get Speed Control, it was really tough for him. Um. Physically offensive Zekrom, that's crazy. That's actually crazy. But yeah, um... I hope you did enjoy. Um, hopefully we can get week 5 started soon. Um, I think we're waiting on one more match, but they have been given an extension because... Again, <laughs> it, I think everyone's been really busy with this... this week i think most people have started like doing classes again on, uh for like college and things like that um so like even lyric and fat rat that we reviewed earlier they did their match early because they both knew they were gonna i think at least one of them knew they were gonna be really busy all this week all the week just gone so yeah the other ones just kind of opted to do it late. Um, and it was like, what, me and Airstream? Yeah. <laughs> they were the only ones that actually had time. And even then, like, I worked, so. But I just kind of squeezed in a bit of time. But yeah, so we should be able to get week five. Week five started soon. We actually don't even know opponents yet, but it should be fun. Regardless, um, so thank you very much 
thank you all very much for watching and i'll see you all in the next video